So I had a question about how to assign body materials in Product Template Studio. So I thought I'd do a quick example showing how to do this. This uh, is a brand new model, just barely created it uh, to, to show this. And we're going to swap the, the material of this bracket here between, say, steel, aluminum, and maybe brass or something like that. Um, but this is how it's going to work. Uh, what we're going to do first is go in and uh, get the materials into this part. Right. right now, if we do information and uh, look at this particular part, let's come in here and go to the solid body right there. This is going to show us that we don't have a material assigned at the moment. Right, We've got a density in here, but that's our standard density. But uh, we don't have a material specified in here right now. Right. And so what we're going to do is come in here to assign materials and let's go uh, do one of these, right? When we do that, say grab an aluminum here and assign it to that body, then of course, as we do information for this body, I'm doing control I to, to get to the information just quickly. Um, uh, as we do this now, we'll see that we've got uh, material in there, right? And our density's changed, of course, okay? so. This, this material is in this part at this point, right? We're saving a copy essentially of that, this used here, this little check mark is saying that it's used in the model. So the definition of this material gets saved into the PRT, okay? Now you can do this, do more of these here if you want to, right? If we wanna come in here and grab a, a cold rolled steel or something like that, uh, let's see, where's my, where are my steels? There we go, let's grab a rolled steel and stick that in there for instance and apply that. Then we're gonna to get to this situation here where the aluminum is actually still there, right? It's it's actually still in the part, but not saved anymore, not not being used at the moment, right? Hence the the, the note there that it's not being used in the model, uh, and the steel, of course, will have the uh, the green check mark by it there, right? So what we're going to do here is uh, we we can do the third one here uh, using the assigned material if we want to. Um, I think we can also use manage materials uh, to do this. So let's use. Do, 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 this guy, yep, to uh, to look at this as well. So inside the part, again, we've got aluminum in here, we've got steel in here, and let's grab like brass as well, this guy. And I think in here we can also um, do, do, do load library material, we do that as well, and it'll do this same kind of thing. So, so if we don't want to assign them all, we can come in here and pick multiple ones and say we want to load these. We can do that. I don't really need ammonia gas as, as one of them right now. But um, we can choose those and, and load them into the model, right? So this will save these into this part file. And at that point, we've got these in here and, and we can start to use these in PTS now, okay? So I'm going to come into PTS Author now. Again, first time with this particular model. And uh, let me bring this, <laughs> bring this up right here. Uh, so nothing in this part right now, uh, just for for consistency, I'm going to uh, add a group right there, uh, and we'll call this our parameters just for fun. There we go. And uh, inside there, what I'm going to do now is, and this is the trick, I'm going to go to the bodies here, right? And, and the bodies here, adding one of the bodies to the template specifically is going to give us the material control, okay? And this is the, the trick. So if we have this body here, you'll notice it, it gives us a material selector, right? And, and as we do that, then uh, we get here uh, this this control, right? And what this is going to do is give us all of the materials that are saved in the part, which is kind of convenient. So this guy now again is going to uh, going to pick up pick up the one that's currently assigned, which in our case I think is steel right now, right? And uh, and give but give us the option to switch to one of these others. Okay, so we'll do that and uh, we'll call this here um, material uh, selector, just uh, test, just because that's what we're doing and we'll uh, we'll publish this, save that into the part and, and exit here. And at that point, yeah, as we come back and, and edit this guy, what we will see again is it's picked up the steel that's our currently assigned material and uh, we can choose a different material here uh, in here. Okay, now to prove that it's working, <laughs> let's do this. Uh, we've got the mass here visible, right? And uh, the mass is not updated at the moment, but we can do that. We can update our mass properties here. So our aluminum one now here is 0.02 kilograms, right? And if we come in here and choose the steel and, uh, and say, okay, our properties go out of date, which is what we expect. And uh, as we update that, we see 0.06. So steel is more dense there, of course. 
And similarly, if we come in here and pick brass and say OK, uh, then we can update that guy and that one's 0 0.069, right? So yeah, that's how that works. Um, again, that's going to let us create that, uh, that selection of the materials. We'll save those materials into the part using either the Manage Materials uh, dialog or uh, we can do it by, by using assigned materials and doing it multiple times to get the, get the, pro the, the materials into the part. Um, if we want to clean those up, actually, too, um, we can come in and, and take aluminum out here, for instance. We can delete that, and that's going to just remove it from the part, right? And then at that point, uh, the aluminum will just not show up in here anymore. And you'll notice we, uh, it, oh, it's actually still in here. That's interesting. I may need to go into, go into PTS once and kick it, <laughs> right? Uh, so let's try that. We'll go into uh, PTS author here and uh, we've got our material there and let's just publish again from right here and exit and let's see if that uh, that does the trick. So we'll come back over here and do that. And there we go. Yeah, so that aluminum is gone now. Okay, so uh, and I forget which one we had which one we had. I think it was that one. There we go. So uh, I hope that is useful to you.